గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ కుటుంబ మార్గం బోంజూర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు హిరోషిమా అండ్ వీఆర్ ఇన్ ఎవర్ గ్రీన్ హోస్టల్ అండ్ ఇన్ మై లాస్ట్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ టోల్డ్ యూ దట్ ఐ ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఫర్ మేకింగ్ మై బ్రేక్ఫాస్ట్ సో వాట్ ఐ డిడ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐ బ్రాట్ బ్రెడ్ లోఫ్ చీజ్ బటర్ సమ్ వెజిటేబుల్స్ అండ్ సమ్ మిల్క్ రామేన్ all these things costed me around 400 yen so friends i have already spent 1500 for my night stay 100 for the parking of my bike and 400 rupees i spent today in the morning to buy the material for making my breakfast lunch as well as dinner so i use this kitchen and some of the materials are available free here like oil and uh, all the equipments are there the equipment for making grilled sandwich or for heating up things so all these things i used here and prepared my breakfast ramen breakfast with milk as well as i made sandwiches grilled sandwiches for my lunch and different type of sandwiches for my dinner so friends all these things i prepared here and packed so aluminum foil was available in this kitchen which was free some of the things which were free here some uh, condiments some spices oil or onion so some of the things which were available here i used those things they were absolutely neat and clean and uh, it took me around half an hour to prepare for my breakfast lunch as well as dinner so friends i was not now bothered about spending in lunch and dinner and any case today where we are going it will be difficult to find a restaurant here so this is what i did and friends i just uh, packed my bag and uh, one suitcase i left in the hostel itself and actually i paid the money because you know what happens when you do not pay money in the morning when you are leaving the hostel the next day charges are levied on you so it is always good to clear the balance whenever you are leaving because you are not sure whether you will be staying for another day so in fact i was also not very sure that whether i will be staying today in this hostel or i will go further because depending on what are the things i am able to cover and and if i feel that uh, i still need to stay for the night i am tired and i cannot drive uh, during the dark so in that case i will definitely stay in the hostel but i'm not sure so i have the number of the hostel and in case i feel that i'll be staying uh, today night also i will call and book so i checked out from the hostel otherwise it will unnecessarily lead to the extra payment and friends i want to show you that outside so i'm just outside the hostel i just left and took my bike from this parking so i took my bike i put my bag and i just want to show you around this place and also i want to show you the indian restaurant which is there which is very very near actually it's walking distance so i'll just show you the restaurant so friends this is the restaurant less than 100 meters from the hostel this is the indian restaurant and you can see there are many indian and vietnamese delicacies which are available in this uh, restaurant indian restaurant sapna restaurant indo asian dining and bar and uh, the prices are also given here so friends if i would have done my breakfast here in sapna restaurant it would have costed me not less than 600 yen and then i had to spend uh, 1000 yen for the lunch and another 1000 to 1500 yen for the dinner in this restaurant so hiroshima is very costly the stay is very costly so i could not afford this restaurant today but uh, maybe in some other city 
or some other day when I have money, I will definitely try these kind of restaurants, which are actually in Hiroshima. You will find Indian restaurant on the Hiroshima station also, or all the areas where you will find hostels are there, you will find Indian restaurants like this. So Indian restaurants, Indian food is very common in Japan actually, and particularly in Hiroshima. So there is a Indian population in Hiroshima and uh, you do find the restaurants, Indian restaurants. This is another hostel here, 36 hostel and uh, this is also uh, similar to Evergreen but uh, I did not explore this hostel. In any case, the price of uh, Evergreen were the best. So now friend, I will take you to the complete city tour of Hiroshima just now. So our day's tour of Hiroshima starts. So I will show you that which are the area I want to cover today. So friends, this is the Naka ward area where Evergreen Hostel is there. This is the Evergreen Hostel here. And uh, I want to show you that uh, just 500 meters from this hostel is the atomic bomb dome is there which is the most visited place in Hiroshima. So the people see this, this is the ruin of one of the building which was left in ruins after the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. So I will show you that building. And another 300 meter is the peace memorial. So this is the peace memorial, very big area it is. I will just show you. So this is the complete area which is the Peace Memorial which has got a Peace Memorial Museum also. It has got Peace Memorial Park also. There is a children park also and then there is a clock tower here. Peace clock tower is there and one memorial tower is also there. Another tower is also there. So friends, entry to Atomic Bomb Dome and uh, to the Peace Memorial Park is free. The entry to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum cost around uh, 500 yen. So today I am short of money so I will not be visiting the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Uh, in any case, uh, I am short of time also today because apart from the Atomic Bomb Dome and the Peace Memorial Park, Today I will take you for a island tour also. So I will just tell you the route which I will be taking. So we will be taking this route from here, one of the road here and we will be going to the atomic bomb dome here. So we will be starting from here and we will be going like this. We will cross the backwaters of Hiroshima and we will go further ahead and take a U-turn from here to come to this side of the road and then we will enter the atomic bomb dome here. I will park the bike somewhere here and then I will walk down to this place, Peace Memorial Park. So after that, we will start our journey to the island which I will show you later. So let us start from the hostel for our journey to atomic bomb dome. So friends, this is the main road which is going to the atomic bomb dome. So we are crossing the backwater around the Peace Memorial Park. This is the bridge which I showed you earlier. Friends, this is the traditional type of uh, tram which uh, takes you to all the places in Hiroshima. This uh, is run by a private company which is in short popularly known as Hiroden. So this Hiroden tram is available from the Hiroshima station 
to downtown this place and just outside the evergreen hostel also there is a tram station on the main road and uh, in case you are not having the bike motor bike like i have you will probably have to use these trams or uh, from the station you can take uh, the train also uh, japan railways jr train it is called and uh, to go to the island tour which is actually in the suburbs of uh, Hiroshima which is almost uh, 30 to 45 minutes from Hiroshima railway station you can either use this tram or you can use the Sanyo line of the JR railways Japan railways so from station you can go there but in my case I will be going to the Miyajima Guchi railway station and I will park there and from there I will take the ferry. So I will cut short my journey by Heroden tram or the JR Sano line train. So I will not be doing that. So right now I am trying to find the U-turn for uh, going to the atomic bomb dom. So let me see where I can take my U-turn here. So this is the new type of tram. It is little more expensive. It is air conditioned. The this tram is becoming more popular. The earlier one is more traditional in nature. So now we can take the U-turn. I'll take the U-turn as soon as this uh, tram goes. So yes, I have been able to take the U-turn here. So I'll now go back towards atomic bomb dome. Parking and entry at the atomic bomb if it is available parking is available it is free so i have to take a turn here this is actually the entry of the atomic uh, bomb dome in fact you can see this is the dune this is the dome atomic uh, bomb dome so we'll go inside i will show you exactly how it looks like I will be parking here and uh, I can enter from here also. So this is the main entry of the atomic bomb dome. Which I recorded last evening. So I was just strolling down here in this area. And you can see how it looks like in the evening. This place is really beautiful in the evening and you can actually spend good time in the evening here. So this is the recorded footage of the evening time. This is the atomic bomb dome. So right now it is uh, just uh, 10 a.m. and uh, this uh, place is open actually since early morning till late night. So it's a very open space neat and clean so you can see this dome here and at this time of the day you can see it looks different left the atomic bomb down and I am moving towards the memorial park. This is another memorial of the nuclear holocaust victims. This memorial is there and you can see this residential area around here beautiful residential area is also there on this side 
and friends here this whole area just across the canal is uh, the peace memorial area and uh, i will show you around peace memorial park very famous highly visited place and this is also called the center of the city so i'll just show you around this area so it has been very beautifully created this area very green area right now i'm inside the park so i made a entry from one of the side gates so this is the main portion of the memorial park peace memorial park and this park is dedicated to the victims of the nuclear holocaust in hiroshima so all the facts about the nuclear attack and the people who died friends almost more than 1 lakh victims are still alive in hiroshima today who survived the holocaust and who have seen who are affected by the nuclear bomb so this is the peace memorial park museum and it contains lot of uh, pictures and photographs and the facts about the atomic bomb attack or and also of the world war 2 so there is a entry it's not the entry is not free and today i am short of time because we have to proceed for the island tour today and uh, that's why i'm skipping this but if you visit this place you must go to this museum this is a very beautiful museum friends i will just show you the topography of hiroshima this is a hiroshima city here and uh, this and this side is the north this is north side and this is west this is east right so friends what our island tour requires that uh, we have to go from this atomic bomb site which is the downtown area of hiroshima center of hiroshima so we will be taking route like this something like this our bike and tram also goes like this only and we have to reach mia jima guchi station and friends here in mia guchi station after parking my bike what we will be doing is that we have to visit this island this is the mia jima island and this is famous for many things but it is most famous for isu kushima shrine which is the most visited place religious place in japan and hiroshima is a popular tourist destination because of this isu kushima shrine which is uh, the 14th century shrine very old shrine 
it has got the whole complex has got uh, the buddhist temple also shanto shanto temples also and this uh, itsu kushima shrine so what we'll be doing after parking my bike here at the mia jima guchi station where you can either reach by the japan railways train which comes here or you can come by tram also so train takes about half an hour the tram takes almost 50 minutes to come here i will recommend that you should take tram because if you come by tram you will see the all the streets views and the glimpses of hiroshima so whole city you can see from the tram so like we will be going on our bike so we'll see the many facets of hiroshima city so it is not a very good idea to come by train although it takes less time and the cost is almost same it costs around 250 yen if you come from the hiroshima station to mia jima guchi station but if you take tram you can take the tram just from outside the atomic bomb dome itself so you don't you don't have to spend money by taxi or by tram to go to the hiroshima station and take the train so you can save money uh, rather you can also buy the day pass of the hiroden trams which is available for around 800 yen so it can be used a limited time and you can come by tram to this place mia jima guchi station and take the ferry to itsu kushima shrine this ferry is run by two companies one is the japan railways so if you are buying japan railway ticket you can buy the ticket for the ferry also and if you have taken the hiroden pass full day pass so this journey becomes free for you so by spending just 800 yen you can come to the mia jima guchi station by tram from the atomic bomb dome just outside there uh, there is a station tram station you can come here and free of cost you can go by ferry which takes around 10 to 15 minutes to come to this island so friends in my case since i will be parking my bike here i will be buying a ticket for the ferry from here to come here and this is going to cost me around 150 yen one way so two way it will be around 